Good morning, nice to see you in the bathroom again. Thank you, Mrs. H. Rather a larger bouquet, shall we say? <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I thought there was a brush missing there, there's not. Right. Um, welcome to the shave using a scent I've never used before. And that is this Tale of Old Bond Street, Cedarwood. Um, you don't see many videos of this, do you? Well, I haven't. Uh, maybe you proved me wrong, but um, it's something I've always wanted to buy. And I've, if I'm honest, I've never bought it because I've had uh, the sandalwood hard soap by Taylor's, and I've got um, the sandalwood cream. And you tend to think sandalwood, cedarwood, well, it's going to be roughly the same. There's no rush done. Um, so I bought it. Um, this one didn't have. Usually got a plastic lid here but this one didn't have it but how wrong can I be it's nothing like sandalwood how can I explain it cedarwood it's well it's different I can't it's not sandalwood in any way shape or form it's like a mall it's just different just different um, but very nice that's not very well explained, is it? But I can't explain it any other way. Um, it's not foresty, it's not earthy. Um, and there's nothing like sandalwood, so it's cedarwood. So I'm glad I've got it, really. And we're going to shave with this. This is the R41 Twist. The only reason that is, is it twist at the bottom. A bit more than that. There you go. Inside that, I'm using a brand new Gillette 7 o'clock, super stainless. How are you doing? All right. Forgot to ask. Get carried away in these shaves. It's a bit of a bit of a mix and match, but the new product of this shave is the Cedarwood shaving cream. So there's the new blade. Slips on the head, nice and gently, and now that feels okay. Very, very, very slight overhang, um, as you can see on the exposure maybe usually it's good around here so maybe not oh there you go just a bit on the end very nice uh, we're going to use a prep today and that's the 3p bit of a pre-shave brush is the red resin the red rocket not red resin the 24 millimeter yaki there and I'm going to use the Captain's Choice Bowl. I've just put a bit of that cream in, as you can see. Don't need a lot. I'm not going to spread it because it's such a brand new. When it's new, Taylor's is very sort of silky cream. And if you keep them many, many, many years, like me, they start to turn into a crop and then they get into a hard soap. But you can still use them. And when they get to that stage, I usually, because you've used so much, and you can see that's not as deep as the normal pots. Oh, this is a different one then. Uh, I didn't, I don't think I got this direct from them actually, I got it, um, or did I? I can't remember, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, oh yeah, so um, it's not as deep as the others, have we got another one to show you? No I haven't, typical, they're a bit deeper normally but uh, obviously do two sizes, unless this only comes in this size. There's a lot, of, a lot of mystery with this one, a lot of mysteries. Okay, so we'll wet the face and then we'll get going. We've had another bit of a storm, I can't remember the name of it now. 
don't like these names, you know myself. I just, it's a stormy day, simple as that, as it used to be years ago. The only thing that used to be named was hurricanes over in the, in the States and other parts of the world, uh, which we don't get. Um, well, very often. I don't even, have we had a hurricane in this country? Maybe we have, but nothing like what they have there. And they name them, that's fine, but these storms, you know, you think, come on. <laughs> so, just a. Just gonna. That'll do. Slightly mentholated this. Very similar. If you've never tried this, this the scent is very, very similar to Vicks Vapor Rub, but a bit milder. Obviously, feels nice though as a base. Right, that's that. And then we'll start. Uh, Start lathering. I'm not going to dip the brush in there. Any shaves planned today or this week? And here we go. Straight in. This bowl has been a good old faithful as well. I'd never heard of that um, until I seen Don conversational shaver use it in his videos. There we go. Hope you're okay, Don and Sarge, the cat. This is beautiful, only it's a little thumbnail though. I like this scent. Do you know again it's reminding me of something? A familiar scent to it. See so, you know, it could be a maybe it's a scent of a cedar wood. The tree, something, but it's nothing earthy, it's not woody that way, it's uh, I can't explain it. But it's lovely. Beautiful, easy, especially for a Wednesday. There you go. Yeah, somebody said in the comments um, of one of my videos about was talking about the storms. If you're going to heat the razor up. Uh, Ireland, speaking from Ireland, and uh, he was saying there's a lot of damage there because they really copped it there with high, very high winds. People's sheds and everything blown away, you know, blown down and smashed. And it uh, always creates havoc, doesn't it? So this is the Mule R41 Twist, first pass using the Gillette. What did I say? Gillette Twist. Gillette, 7 o'clock. Super stainless. You can feel that blade. Nice. 
yeah, as I say, you don't see many people using this shaving cream. Uh, well, each to their own, but um, the reason I didn't have it till now is because I, you know you, th you have that thing of sandalwood, cedarwood. Yeah, it's going to be similar. And maybe you know you don't want two shaving cream similar incentive but uh, it's not similar it's, it's it's lovely obviously you can feel that blade exposure in this but um, it feels very nice, well matched for me. You know, that's a lovely, good slickness. I knew you always know the slickness is going to be good with these. I had a message. Was it last week? The week before for chap saying he's watched my these videos for years and uh, he f feels he knows me and it's lovely that thanks very much you know if you I suppose if people watch me regularly you like uh, as if you know me um, which is nice like part of the family isn't it it's keeping nice and clean but what he was saying he's having a visit to the UK I think he said in July, uh, his first time, and they're going to London with his family from the USA, and he will cross the growth, and he's looking forward to it, and he's planned um, you know lots of visits to historical places, and they're going to see the palace. Buckingham Palace, they're going to see the Palace of Westminster, which is where Big Ben is, you know, the Houses of Parliament. And a few other places, Tower of London. But he said the main thing for him was he said, I've booked half a day or a day or something for shaving shops. <laughs> Very important. So I expect you, your wife or children or whatever will maybe, you won't drag them along, will you? You won't be popping. <laughs> maybe they can go their way for a few hours and you meet up later for a nice meal. I would suggest that fish and chips, when I did a meet up in London with that chap from down south, um, Oh, I forgot his name now. Nice chap. And he took me to this down this road and went down this back alley into this place. Looks like you were just about to meet the Cray twins, you know. And then you go up these stairs and all of a sudden there's an old fashioned bar. Wooden thick wooden bar and you sit down, fish and chips. I filmed it in the you see the fish and chips, lovely. Beautiful slickness on this. Scent strength. Well, it's new, isn't it? So it's, it's about a four, four and a half in scent. It's, it's not, a, not a wafter in the room, but it's, um, it's a lovely present scent. Uh, yeah, I would have suggested that place, but it was one of those places where when he took me there, went down the street, down there, turned left, Back street, up the stairs, down. I couldn't remember. I couldn't go there myself, no way. But uh, they were lovely. And we had, a, we had a drink in the oldest pub in London. That's near the shaving shops. Um, London Pride I had. Pint of London Pride. Beautiful. I 
And the thing is, that part of London, you'll hear people talk awfully much like that, you see, as well. When you'll hear people talking like, all right, what are you going on about, governor? Cockney something. I know I just murdered. I um, when I was going from my hotel, because when I did that, was that the meetup was another day. It could have been one another time. Uh, it was either that day of the meetup or the, another time I was going to London to the shops, shaving shops. And my hotel was sort of if, if you look at Buckingham Palace in front of you, my hotel was to the left of it. And there was a chap on the steps with a top hat and afternoon, so anyway, um when I was leaving the hotel to go to these shops, he said, Could I help you, sir? I said, Oh, thanks awfully, yes. No, I, I just said, Yes, please, I said, I'd like a taxi. So he whistles <laughs> like you see in New York. So this taxi, London taxi, stops. And the chap there, nice man. He says, uh, where are we going, mate? I said, um, what did I say? German Street, please. Oh, yeah. He says, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, the shaving shops there. Shaving shops? I said, yeah, they're like the old-fashioned... Uh, I got a YouTube channel and um, I'm going to hopefully film a bit then. It's about the old traditional shaving and he's looking in his mirror talking to me, yeah, wouldn't mind a bit of that. <laughs> Here's a nice chat. They're all memories. I do go on, sorry. Three, two, one. Pick up town, baby. <laughs> well, I do tell you, I have a chat in these shaves as if you're here. There's no script, there's no act. Right, here we go, pickups. So this is an aggressive razor, obviously. But I must say this Yes, you can feel the blade, the exposure, but it feels very nice. It's uh, very efficient, very clean cutting. There's no juddering, anything like that, struggling. This is lovely, very, very slick. That is lovely, wow. Cold water rinse now. 
cool things off. Do you mind? That's been there a long time. I knew it was there, but uh, I forgot this time. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. This is real life stuff. I get up very early and I don't like to put the light on when I get out of bed because it'll wake Mrs H and it'll, all sorts of stuff like that. So I try to be a bit respectful so I know where my clothes are so I get up, you know, in your head you know where everything is, walk to the bathroom, put the bathroom light on, have a wash and teeth and all this. But the odd day I get it wrong and one day I don't know if you've ever done this. You're trying to be quiet, you're in the dark, and I smack my toe on the bed post. God, bed. <laughs> in that much pain, you try not to shout with pain, and then all of a sudden, this voice, oh, are you alright? <laughs> anyway, this is the slightly mentholated witch hazel, homemade. Yeah, trying to be respectful and quiet and it causes me the greatest pain <laughs> now and again. Uh, half asleep, you see. And then we're going to throw Avon. I use a bit of this uh, wild country Avon. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Down the side, not, no, it doesn't, it's not cedar wood, obviously, but it's, it's, uh, goes well with it. And then this thing from, um, Home Bargains, wasn't it? Burt and Burt Skincare, number three, Repair. This balm. This is quite nice. Little blob. That is nice. Very close and very slick feeling. Really enjoyed that. And thanks for listening to me if you're still there. <laughs> I do apologise for going on sometimes. But... So we've used very successfully the R41, the Mule R41 twist. Uh, called that because of the you twist the base. It's a two-piece non-adjustable razor. It's aggressive. Um, but with this, you can feel the, ex the exposure of the blade, the aggression, but it felt very clean, very sort of, how can I say, s well, yes, yeah, smooth, clean, and um, sharp, but very efficient in its, in its work. It's, it's really nice. I enjoyed that blade. Oh, we've used the 3P Prep Cream first. That's a bit like Vicks on a milder scale. Captain's Choice Original Bowl, Yaki 24mm, the red resin um, synthetic brush. Um, water to rinse. We've also used the main ingredient to this shave, and that was the Tale of Old Bond Street Cedarwood Shaving Cream. Uh, sorry again, I didn't buy it a while ago because I thought it was going to be similar to sandalwood. Didn't bother, didn't want too many things the same. Uh, and it's nothing the same. It's a really, really nice scent. I like it. So, um, Witch Hazel, mentholated, homemade. Avon, Avon Calling, do you remember that? <laughs> Don't go on, Paul. Go. Wild Country Aftershave. And then the Burt and Burt Skincare Number no. 3 Repair. And that's it. I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the week. Some good shaves if you haven't any. Um, try and stay happy and positive make someone laugh if you can in your life and uh, good health to you and I'll see you on the weekend when we used the, the last of the new products I've bought 
for now. Let's hope I behave. So I'll see you then. All the best and bye bye.